In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front screen on the Samsung Fold 6. We're going to do another repair on this back camera in a little while, but for this one, I'm just going to concentrate on this external screen. To begin the repair, I'm going to place it face down on my heat mat. I've got the heat mat set to 85 degrees C, and I did cheat a little bit. I've had this on for the last five or 10 minutes, and it is nice and warm now. This is the first time that I've done one of these Fold 6 external screens, so you will have to go easy on me in case I make any errors while I'm doing it. But I have had a look at the part, and it looks like the cable goes straight up from the bottom. The other good news about this is that the screen is absolutely obliterated already, so we don't have to worry about breaking it further. So to remove this front screen, I'm going to start at the top using a razor blade, and I'm going to create a gap between the very edge of the screen and the chassis of the phone. It's a real tight little gap. I might try the edge rather than the that bit because it's real tricky to get underneath it. I know that once I'm under, like I am here, it'll be pretty easy to get out. So now that I've got this lifted a little bit, I'm gonna create a bigger gap with the razor blade and I'm gonna insert the blue plastic pick so that we can run it down and create a gap to hopefully separate this adhesive, but it is really stuck down hard on this. Like I said, I've not done one of these ones before, so I'm always reluctant to go sticking the pick in too far in case we damage something. But it looks like now that we've got a start there, it's coming away pretty easily. I'm just sort of holding my fingernail underneath the bits that I've separated just to keep it held up. Just running around with the pick, separating it as best I can. I really won't want fancy my chances refurbing one of these because they're very difficult to remove. And I'm I'm sort of right under the OLED panel now, lifting this up. Pull this adhesive now that I've got hold of it and see if I can get it away. Similar to how we do the iPads. And I'm just pulling that adhesive out to see if that will uh, make it a little bit easier. But there's nothing easy about this. So I think we've got the majority of it removed now. Just that right side. That's the tricky bit here. So I'm just sort of trying to unfold this now that I know that I'm not going to damage anything. I have ripped the cable for the display underneath. But that's removed now. That's how not to take it off. So that's now removed. I'm just gonna peel off the remnants of that adhesive, but I can see, I'm gonna advise this customer, like I said, I did end up snipping that cable. Um, this is definitely not one what I want in for battery replacements because that was hard as nails to remove. I don't know if you can see there, there's some damage to the battery as well. Whatever's whacked it has really, really, it took a heavy impact. So I'm going to have a word with the customer and just say about that battery because that is ridiculous. However, I'm not going to let it get in the way of our video because I'm going to finish off this demonstration of how to replace this screen. What I can see here, it looks like there's a little plastic cover over this so that you can just pop it off. But it looks a bit more complicated than that, doesn't it? There is just a little plastic cover that pops off, look. It's not any more complicated, it's just plastic and aluminium, a little shield. So with that out of the way, we're gonna go pop, pull that off, and I suppose that's the screen removed. In a normal world, we'd just carry on, but I'm really bothered about this battery. The screen that we're using, as always, is a genuine Samsung service pack. I will try and remember to leave a link in the description below. Another really important factor with this was the adhesive on the screen as well because these don't come with the adhesive pre-applied it's always very important to get the genuine Samsung adhesive for your repair so we'll go ahead and install this seal like I said it was very important it is very important to make sure that you get the correct seal and install it properly the, the best way to do it is to line it up on one edge first top corner get the left hand edge in place and lined up and then the rest of it should follow and it should be nice and square then so that looks pretty tight to me 
make sure that it's pushed in with the back edge of the spudger. And this is hopefully gonna prevent it from popping off. Although that battery, I know I keep talking about it, but it's bothering me. So that's the seal installed. Always keep this little film on there because it will act as a guide sheet to install it. And then we're gonna get the replacement screen. We've got some plastic films on the back there. They of course have to be removed. A bit awkward, I don't wanna break this flex cable because this screen cost me money. I had more trouble with that than I did with the adhesive. Right, so the plastic film's removed. And now we're gonna offer up the screen up to the connector. It might be a bit hidden while I do this. I'll try and do it. Right, yeah, let's fold it over like that. Not fold, just bend it over. Connect it in like that. And then of course we've got the little plastic shield to go on there. We can flip this back over. And then we're gonna line up and install the screen onto there. Apply some pressure all around the edges. And I'll do this off camera because nobody wants to see me messing around warming up this adhesive, but I'm gonna put this on the hot plate with some weighted objects on top of it. And that's gonna sort of activate the adhesive and just secure it into place, making sure that the adhesive works. That just about completes this video on how to replace the external display on the Samsung Fold 6. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.